Hi, Mohammed Daphne here. How are you? Thank you for sending your next essay for corrections. Well done. The bar chart compares training data. Good brown and black leather shoes. That's fine. Now, I want the overall sentence. I'm going to move it up here because I think I said for me, I prefer to have it here. So I want four sections, remember? So I'm going to have this here. Overall, the greatest number of shoes were sold in Hungary, whereas the least was in France. Good. More black shoes were disposed of. Mm, disposed of suggests that they were in the rubbish, or like in the bin, were purchased in Hungary. And the UK, well, the reverse held true. Because past tense held true for the other countries. Okay, nice. So just choice of word there and tense there. And now you don't really need to start with because you don't need these kind of things. This is more for uh, IELTS writing uh, the task two, not the task one. So go straight in here, very formal, like a report. Hungary had the biggest sales. So Hungary, you could say Hungarian shoppers purchased the highest number. Think how you could use language here. Nearly 140,000 black and 130,000 black uh, shoes sold. Similar patterns were disclosed. Very nice in Italy and the UK, although the total sales lagged behind those of Hungary by a margin. Very nice, good. By contrast, we would actually say in contrast, but that's okay. Belgium's bought almost exclusively black shoes or brown shoes. Really nice. That is lovely writing. Super. Uh, in contrast, Brown shoes dominated the markets of Poland, Germany, Holland. Yep. In Poland and France, people uh, bought. Yep. Uh, you could have purchased. Or indicated a preference for brown leather shoes. Uh, so, all right, if I've got purchased, I can't have indicated with your structure, but it, it's impossible, okay? Purchase twice as many as the black ones with the former, with the former, you can't had, you can't use that, you can't have had sold. Uh, that doesn't work with the former. You could have here registering. Now the former registering, registering almost 140,000 proofs sold. So registering, okay, that is good. And then almost is okay. So we don't want that. 140,000 brochures sold. Yep. And the latter, um, because I've got indicated, you'd need to have showing half this figure. So what we're looking at here, the reason I'm changing some of your words is because you want to get points for vocabulary and not just the grammar. So we want correct grammar, but we also want vocabulary. Uh, finally, again, I wouldn't use finally, that's more for the task too. Just go sales in Germany and Hungary and France, uh, Ireland and France, or Germans, Irish and French shoppers. Uh, were in between that of Poland with brown shoes. Okay, really good. I like how you've grouped these. Higher by 20 to 30%. Okay, higher. Good, really nice. You've given me some very interesting grouping here, which is what we wanted. Well done. You've used some interesting language and you've really mixed up your structures in terms of the proportions and the percentages and fractions you're using. So these are keywords, proportion, while, whereas, in contrast, that's the kind of language we're looking for. And then lots of comparatives. So these really, really nice words. So those are, let's try and get those, all those words in next time. Hey, that would really, really be brilliant on the vocab. But well done. Good, clear answer. I like that. So in many countries, traditional foods are being replaced by fast food. This has a negative impact on families, individuals and society.
Okay, 406. Can you please keep this at 370? Oh, maybe that's including the title. I think you want 360 to 370 max. I mean, absolute maximum. You should be able to answer this question in that. If you write more, generally people make more mistakes. There is no more points. You don't get more points for writing more. It's really important to know that. So experts have debated whether the widespread consumption of fast food has Oh, deleterious rather than favourable effects on persons and community. Mm, okay. Yeah, I mean, you've paraphrased that, okay. I mean, nicely, but I need a bit more here. Yeah. Have debated whether widespread consumption of fast food known to contain high levels of fats. So I here's my little value added. Here's my extra. Rather than favourable effects on personal and community. Um my own community. Uh weakening family bonds. I don't want to write much because you've got a long sentence in there already, but I do want more value. So this I know is adding a lot to your word count and we will look at that as we go through. But the most important point to make here is that I want you to add value. You can't just paraphrase. You need to give me a bit more. Take me into your essay. Uh, but then I want your opinion. And then this, so you may have to cut that a little bit. I know it's the template, which is fantastic, but you may have to just reduce this because I want your opinion. The Zampa evidence that takeaway food is one of the major contributors to the epidemic of obesity affecting children and adults alike throughout the world. Good topic sentence, good. The central reason behind this is twofold. Firstly, takeaway and fast foods invariably contain excessive amounts of simple carbs, as saturated fats and sodium salts, uh, Uh, you need to adding uh, known, oh sorry, um, salts, um, adding to weight gain. You just need a little bit more, Mohammed, just to make this connection. Yes, you give me the reason, but connect it back to this keyword. This is your key thought your key statement in your topic sentence, but you need to link that to this. Secondly, they're often linked to poor dietary patterns, such as consumption, more sugary, com yep, good. Uh, okay, which, so develop this more. Uh, I'm not worried about that. I would take out that because I think it's more important that you develop these. So for me, this is really, really important. Develop your answer. You can't just put um, the statement without developing the statement. So take out that and give me more in here. For example, a study carried out by Oxford uh, demonstrated that sandwiches um, cups in three have grown in size Okay, all right, so you have made a point here on size, so make your second point to do with size. Essentially, you're giving me three points. You haven't got room for three points in this paragraph. Two points, develop them. Three points is too much, you just haven't got a space. Uh, have increased adiposity. Oh my goodness, I don't even know that word. Wow, what is that word? Synonyms. Fattiness, okay, wow, thank you. That paves the way to various health hazards. Really interesting, okay. So two main points and develop them, not three points. Although there's a case for fast foods presenting, you don't need a comma there, a practical, inexpensive, readily available solution for people with busy lifestyles. You need to carry on this sentence. This sentence can't stop. Although there's a case for this, This is logic because they typically require no time for processing and preparation. Uh, 
Um, now, be careful on how you've done this. So, when you use although, which is this idea of concession, um, essentially on your sentence as you've written it, you actually want however, not although. If you're going to use although, you'd have to say, although they're unhealthy, there is a case because they're practical. So although is a yes but. So you've only got the but, you haven't got the yes but in here. It is tricky. There's a whole module on that in the course. Have a look at it later on. Go like go forward to it and then come back and then you'll understand a little bit better how to do it. For me, as this stands, you want however in here. Uh, they typically require no type of process in preparation, not to mention a remarkable variety, absolutely, and cost. Uh, for example, an extensive study showed that over 28% of Britons use fast food outlets at least once a week, and this percentage soared in school children. Uh, is soaring or has soared? Maybe we can mix up that tense uh, just for a bit of variety there. However, these social changes have also impacted negatively on family bonds and the local cuisine in many parts of the world. In other words, uh, the regular traditional family dinner has been replaced by eating on the run at various locations throughout the day. Good. Um, again, that's your third point. I don't think you need that. Um, so I think much more impact to have two points well developed. So two points well developed. It would take the pressure off you writing so much and you would get more points in terms of task achievement and also the coherence because the paragraph flow would be better, would be more developed rather than one idea, one idea, one idea. Yeah. So think about doing it that way. I firmly believe, although fast food might have some merits, absolutely, their negative impact is overwhelming. Good. Now you've got that although sentence perfect. Very good writing there. Really like that essay. Well done. Good work. 